What's up, you? <sighs> Just when I thought it had stopped. All right, you guys, let's get away from the beeping. It's a crisp 23 degrees here in Jersey City today. I'm headed over to Central Park. We're gonna explore 10 or 11 different things in the park that seem cool to me. See if we can get into a cave that's supposed to be there. Who knows what else? Stay tuned. We made it into Central Park. I got a hot sandwich that I'm gonna find somewhere to eat before I go any further, because I'm really hungry. And I bought this hat off a guy for like 10 bucks. I think it looked like a stereotypical tourist. This will be great. All right guys, first things first, we're headed to the main. It's a monument. says to free men who died in the war with Spain that others might be free. I think this is a Spanish-American war monument. Yeah, it says to the valiant seamen who per perished in the main by fate unwarned in death unafraid. Cool. Next up, we're going to Bethesda Terrace. I structured this so hopefully should be able to go from south to north and just check everything out. This bush is filled with birds. After being in the city for almost a month, that is such a great sound to hear. It is beautiful. It looks sunny out, but it is so cold. Alright, so here we are. We're approaching the mall. This is the part of Central Park that's always shown in movies, I think. <laughs> and we walk all the way up it. It goes all the way to the Bethesda Terrace. So we'll look at some of the interesting statues along the way. Starting with, I'm guessing Christopher Columbus. Yep, starting with Columbus. A guy who wasn't trying to do anything wrong and now everybody is not a big fan. Can't make out who that is. I think that's Shakespeare. Walter Scott. And Robert Burns. This one here we've got Fitz Green Hawk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never heard of him. But I have heard of women's rights pioneers, Sojourner Truth, Susan B. Anthony. I don't know who Elizabeth Cady Stanton is, but. Got two out of the three. It's a really cool looking half dome structure. I'm sure they play music there in the summer. I'm excited to check that out. Look at these old benches.
beautiful. Very interesting, beautiful with some somber music. It's a beautiful day in Central Park right now. I'm happy it's a nice day so I can show you guys everything. It's well lit. We're headed to the John Lennon Memorial, Strawberry Fields. I'm gonna come back here sometime. Got a little tea party in there. That looks like a ton of fun. I'm gonna remember that. John Lennon's Imagine Circle. That lady just now was calling to the squirrels and feeding them. There's something I've seen is there's a lot of seemingly very domesticated squirrels living in the park. I mean, I can get within three feet of them and they don't care. So that's interesting. All right. So this is the arch. I'm taking all this information from an Atlas Obscura article that I will post, by the way. It's a cool arch. Here we go. Okay. Nice. So down here, is the cave they bricked up. Real good. Not getting through that with a chisel. Under this giant rock. Look at this. I kind of figured it was in this little inlet bay thing. Dang. It's too bad you can't go inside. But you know why they bricked it up? Murders. Look at the layers of granite and cement. Dang. They look like they did a good job with the wall. Okay. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Ramble Cave. Too bad we can't go inside. <sighs> okay. Next on the list, we've got Cleopatra's Needle, which is an Egyptian obelisk. So let's head that way. Alright, so we've transitioned from the Ramble to Cleopatra's Needle. Now, this is an actual Egyptian obelisk. Gotta get closer to it. Came over here in like the 1800s. Apparently there's a, a twin one that's in London.
Yeah, here it says this obelisk was erected first at Hillopolis, Egypt in 1600 BC. It was removed to Alexandria in 12 BC by the Romans. Presented by the Khediva of Egypt to the city of New York, it was erected here in February 22nd, 1881 through the generosity of William H. Vanderbilt. The hieroglyphics Just a poem about Horus. Wild, that came all the way from Egypt. And it's 3,600 years old, give or take. Crazy. It's interesting to see all the stuff that we have. That's 10 times, more than 10 times older than the country. It's huge, and it was moved by primitive people using stone tools, and I don't even know if they had ropes. They might have just pushed it. Crazy. I didn't really plan on making any kind of stop out of this, but here is the reservoir in the middle of the park. Nice big. Reminds me of Juan Kim Lake in Hanoi. Except it's probably never this cold there. This is pretty cool. So this leads us into the North Woods. Now, I'm not sure about this, because I've never been here before, but I believe this path should take us to the loch and then that will basically walk down the canyon to the ravine. And then we should be able to pop out near the last three things on our list. If you've seen some of the other videos I've done, you'll be able to see that this area looks very similar to parts of Minnesota that I've been to. Reminds me of um, wherever we took cookie camping, Frontenac State Park. Reminds me of hiking around there. I know what this feels like. Dude, this part of the park is like a crappy copy of Minnehaha Falls and the surrounding park. Because I'm out of breath climbing some stairs and that's how I know. It's nice, but it's just so tiny. All right, anyway. We're headed on to the conservatory garden, which I believe is right over there. <laughs> I 
little cat. Here we go. The conservatory garden. Under restoration, according to some signs that I've seen. And should be restored by the end of fall. That's too bad. Well, we'll have to come back and check this out. You guys all know how much I love plants and therefore gardens. So it will be interesting to see what it looks like. Dang. I don't have anything, but you can give me bird flu. All right, up the steep slope, which I want to walk up instead of finding the stairs, is Fort Clinton. I was just down there, that's the edge of the Harlem Mere. Fort Clinton, named after Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary. I'm just kidding. It's interesting. Because there's also Castle Clinton in Battery Park, which is on the southern tip of the island. Now let's head over to Nutter's Battery. So apparently these are supposed to be like the two most defensible spots in the park and they had them picked out that way during the like revolutionary war time and afterwards so they could defend the island from native americans i think i'm not really sure don't quote me on that but i believe that's the reason why these are like specific points in the park is because they were used for defense of the island Interesting structure. I believe this semicircle curved into the rock that I'm standing on is Nutter's Battery. Great name. I don't know what it was used for. It's a very interesting structure just to have hanging out here on this Sebi Peninsula. All right, I'm back in the ravine area on my way up to blockhouse number one. There she is. Probably can't see it through the woods yet, or maybe just the silhouette. But there's the final stop on our journey through Central Park. 
blockhouse number one coming up quick. Let's check it out on the inside. So I believe this is like a Revolutionary War era either munitions cache or prison. I can't remember. Crazy to think of the age these stones were put 300 years ago. How different the world was then. And honestly, it's pretty rough. You could probably climb it. Blockhouse has remained. Well, guys, that has been an exploration of Central Park. We crossed off all sorts of stuff on our journeys through here, and that is where this vlog ends. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was exciting and informational. Stay tuned for the next one.